Hello everyone, this is your teacher A from USA and welcome back to my channel. Last week, we talked about DepEd's resignation process and also if pwede mo mag-abroad kahit may loan pa. Ngayong linggo naman, congratulations! Meron ka ng DS 2019, so pwede na tayong mag-apply ng inyong visa. How do we apply or the process in getting your J-1 visa? First step is babayaran mo ang iyong visa fee. Go to ustraveldocs.com and then click sa may itaas na kalagay bank payment options. Then you will click the deposit slip na may J. J is for J1. You will then bring that deposit slip to RCBC Bank at doon ka magbabayad ng iyong visa fee. Second step is babayaran mo ang iyong CVs or Students and Exchange Visitors fee. Just go to www.fmjfee.com Dot com and ito ang step by step process and how to um, pay your service. What I did is I had my payment option through Western Union. I got this file from my visa sponsor and nakalakay din dito kung ano ang isasagot. Third one is your application online by filling out your personal information in your DS-160 or online non-immigrant visa application. Go to ceac.state.gov and then you fill out your DS-160. This is just your personal information. Ito din ang pagpabasihan ng iyong visa interviewer kung anong questions ang itatanong sa'yo. Just answer truthfully sa yung personal information. Example, if may kamag-anak ka sa US, do not be afraid. And if you're done and upload mo na yung picture mo, you just click their email confirmation. The next one is you need to register to portal that ustraveldocs.com for your schedule. Click New Application or Schedule Appointment. Then, choose Exchange Visitors. J. And dito, dati, di ako makamove on. Kailangan pala pumili ng site kung saan mo kukunin yung visa mo. Pwede mo siyang pick up in doon sa Manila or pwede mo naman siyang ipa-deliver kung saan ka. And voila! May schedule ka na. You need to wait for your schedule and get that visa. The next part of our video is about the visa interview. So, all of these will be based from my experience and what the consul asked me during that time. So, my visa schedule was on July 11, 2023, 12.45 p.m. A day before my interview, I went to the embassy just to have a look around to survey everything, what I need and what I don't need. Si Kuya Gar that time was very matulungin at mabait. So sinabihan niya ako that I can go as early as 8 a.m. on my schedule kasi usually daw ang mga interviews are done on mornings. Take note guys, in a visa interview, bawal ang cell phone. Now, there are people outside that will let you rent like a storage fee worth 200 pesos. So, iiwan mo sa kanila ang cell phone mo. Dahil may trust issue tayo sa mga ganyan, iniwan ko lang yung cell phone ko sa room na nirentahan ko. 
So, yon I arrive on time. Ako yung pinakauna sa linya. But since kasabayan namin is mga seaman, sila yung priority. Sila yung unang nakapasok. All in all, it took me just about 30 minutes just from start to finish. Madali lang naman natapos lahat. Don't forget to bring all your necessary documents, especially yung confirmation mo for your schedule and your receipt. Aside from that, hihinga, hihingin din sa'yo ang yung passport as well as 2x2 two two ID photo. As far as I can remember, there are two parts. First is, tinalong lang sa akin yung birthday ko, tsaka yung pangalan ko. Doon din kunuha ang aking passport. Sa second part, doon naman yung actual interview na kakakabas. I was just praying the whole time. Yung nag-interview sa akin is lalaki. And he was all smiley and very approachable. So, what are you doing in the U.S.? So, I answered, I'm going to teach. Where? So, I'm going to teach in Page, Arizona. How much is your salary? So, yung salary natin, makikita natin sa DS 2019 natin. Dapat memorize natin yon. Tatanong din sa akin, uh, what subject are you teaching? So, I'm, I will tell him, I told him, I'm teaching, I will be teaching mathematics. San ka magtuturo? I'll be teaching in Page Middle School. And then last but not the least, do you know the two-year rule? Alam naman natin sa mga J1 teachers, after a maximum of five years stay in the U.S., kailangan talaga nating umuwi ng Pinas for two years bago tayo maka-apply ulit or bumalik dito sa USA. I remember the interviewer even said thank you for teaching our children. After that, I was just so happy. I was almost crying. And when I came out of the gate, everyone was congratulating me. Siguro nakita na sa mukha ko na may yak-yak na ako sa tuwa. So, if you will have your J-1 visa interview, wag kang matakot. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Ganyan din ako. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Ano ba talaga ang itatanong? What if ma-deny, right? That time, nag-resign na ako. Wala na akong babalikan. But, like most videos... Sabi nila lahat, madali lang interview, tapos most of them are approved. And so as mine, napakadali at approved tayo. And just, I think that was just two minutes. As long as wala kang ano, parang mga background sabit. Example, pumunta ka na ng US as tourist, tapos pagpunta mo doon, hindi ka umuwi. Di ba may duration man yan? So, those are just some of the reasons bakit may mga J1 teachers applying na hindi na a-approve. Don't worry too if you have relatives abroad. My friend is a teacher in Page. So, yung mama niya, pina-apply niya. And her mom also went through the interview. So, when the interviewer asked, do you have a relative in the U.S.? Sabi ng mama niya, yes, I have my daughter. And pasado siya. Just be honest on whatever you put there in your DS-160. Ayun, pasado ka na. Congratulations! You are almost there in America. Monitor your visa status here. Next week, tatalakayan naman natin ang pinakalas na requirement na kailangan nating makuha bago tayo pumunta sa Amerika. And that is your CFO sticker. Thank you so much sa lahat ng nakikinig and those who are watching this video. Hopefully, 
um, meron akong natulungan sa inyo. And if you have questions, suggestions, please comment them down. Again, this is your Teacher A from USA and see you next week. Bye-bye!